Hello student, I am your APD ma'am. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. Now before this, let's see these two pictures and try to find out the common things between them. So let's guess what are the common things or the, what is the common point that actually relate these two pictures okay the common thing is that the left hand side it's the water pollution and the right hand side it's the air pollution so these are two types of pollution now can you tell me what is the main causative agent of this pollution okay the pollutants so the pollutants are um, toxic waste materials isn't so waste material is the causative agent which is harmful for our environment now uh, in these two case the waste materials are released or eliminated but what is the necessity of this elimination because if we want to run the manufacturing factories then we have to eliminate the waste material otherwise it get damaged so can you uh, Tell me, this type of waste material is also found in our body? What do you think? Yes, we can found the waste materials in our body also because our body is a manufacturing unit because it produces various types of biomolecules and execute various types of biochemical reactions and as a result we get the waste materials so if we want to keep our body healthy and fit then we have to eliminate these waste materials from our body and for that purpose our body has a special type of system which is known as the excretory system okay so today we are going to discuss about the excretory system in the organism especially in the humans okay <clears throat> so let's start so if we uh, see the components of the excretory system then we can found that there is a pair of kidney with the adrenal gland so these two are the kidney and this eoli structures are the adrenal gland next one the ureter now see this tube like structures and the ureters next one urinary bladder this one is the urinary bladder and then the urethra these tube like structures that originates from the bladder and the last one is the urinary opening okay now kidney is the main excretory organ in the human it's actually filtrate the blood and eliminate the waste material in the form of urine from our body through the ureter, ureter urinary bladder urethra and urinary opening so 
this is all about the components of the excretory system okay now what is the position of the kidney in our body so see here this is our chest cavity or rib cage and this portion is actually the backward portion of our body and lower abdominal position so kidney is present at the backward position of our body and at the left and right side of the vertebral column okay now let's see the structure of the kidney so kidney has a bean shaped structure so it's a bean shaped and if we cross check the kidney then we can found that there are two regions the outer one is the cortex this one is the cortex and the inner one this inner one is the medulla and see in the medulla there are numerous pyramid shape structures and these are the renal pyramids okay now inside this renal pyramid there is there are numerous nephrons which is the structural and functional unit of the kidney okay now this one is the nephron so let's see in a big picture okay so this is the structural and functional unit this is the nephron and if we see nephrons has many parts the first one this one is the glomerulus and the cup like structure this is the bowman's capsule now see here here the sheaf is the glomerulus this is the glomerulus and the cup portion is the bowman's capsule okay and this glomerulus and bowman's capsule are collectively known as malpighian corpuscle okay and the rest of the part the whole tube like structures is known as the renal tube and we can divide the renal tube into three parts first one is the proximal convoluted tubule pct next one loop of henle and the last one is the distal convoluted tubule okay and the common part is the collecting duct where numerous nephrons are attached okay so this is about the nephron and this nephron actually filters the blood so how now see here this is the glomerulus and this one is the bowman's capsule like that this is glomerulus and this is bowman's capsule now if we want to prepare the tea then we have to remove the tea leaves from the mixture and for that we use the sheaf now here also glomerulus actually acts as the sheaf and it's allow the watery part of the blood having water glucose different types of ions amino acids etc and also the waste material like 
urea uric acid into the cup and the solid portion that means blood cells remain into the glomerulus so like that the glomerulus and the barnas capsule actually filtrate the blood and this filtration is known as the ultra filtration okay now after getting the filtrate this filtrate actually take entry into the renal tubule parts that means at the piece at the pct at the loop of only and the discal convoluted tubule and this whole renal tubule part the essential part of the filtrate like different types of ions glucose amino acid these are reabsorbed again into the blood and many other things like creatinine different types of pigments are released into the filtrate after the reabsorption and finally we get the urine into the collecting duct so in that way we actually get the urine having the metabolic waste materials now after getting the urine how, what is the way of the elimination so let's start first the filtration is occur into the kidney and after that this urine urine pass to the ureter and then from the ureter it comes to the urinary bladder where it is temporarily stored and then to the urethra and then through the opening it's released into the outside of the body so in that way urine actually flows okay but what is the composition of the urine now urine first of all are uh, yellowish in color and if you see 95% is water and 0.05% is ammonia which is a waste material then 2% urea which is the waste material 0.03% is the uric acid 0.1% is the creatinine and 2.8% is the salt okay and as uh, here the system of human is discussed now here the main excretory product is the urea now in case of aquatic organisms the main excretory product is the ammonia and in case of desert animals it's the uric acid okay now this is the composition of the urine and the whole process of the urine formation Thank you.